AMD always manages to make their way into the headlines and now with the performance benchmark leaks of their upcoming Radeon Pro W6800 workstation GPU, things are no different today. AMD themselves have posted a teaser on Twitter and pre-announced the expected launch date of this RDNA 2 based card to be on the 8th of June. Although they didn't disclose any information about the possible spec, an unknown leaker however disclosed some of the information through a Geekbench entry. Keep in mind that this is leaked information and should be taken with a grint of salt. So without further ado, let's see what this GPU has in store for the workstation segment. The card maintains a blue and silver color scheme with a slightly upgraded shroud as per the teaser released from AMD. Just like most of their workstation cards, this one also relies on a blower style cooler. On top of that, this dual slotted card houses a total of 6 mini display ports where each port supports up to 6 4K monitors with 60Hz frequency. Lastly, we want to talk about the backplate that covers half of the PCB acting both as a protection and visual elasticity. WCCF Tech has a well put together chart that showcases several spec information of the Radeon Pro workstation graphic lineup including the Radeon Pro W6800X. This workstation grade card reportedly carries Navi 21 GPU architecture, 5120 streaming processors and 32GB of GDDR6 memory operating at 512GB per second memory bandwidth. As for the memory bus, we are expecting to see a 256-bit interface. As most of AMD's big Navi GPUs support virtualization features, Radeon Pro W6800 will be an ideal performer for data centers. This means you will be able to power up plenty of remote workstations with this card. The unreleased Radeon Pro W6800 extracted out 137,230 OpenCL score beating the RTX 3070's and RX 6800 according to the leaked Geekbench 5 database entry. Though the scores are debatable as RX 6000 series gaming GPU drivers are better optimized in comparison with the Radeon Pro W6800 card. Another factor that has to be taken into consideration is that Geekbench 5 is not a reliable benchmark source as the test result often varies as tests are too short for a GPU to be able to sustain a stable frequency. AMD will officially take the wraps off of this card on June 8 and any rumored information prior to that are just mere speculations and should be taken with a grain of salt. And that is pretty much it of our breakdown of AMD's upcoming rumored Radeon W6800 Pro. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and comment down below to let us know your thoughts. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to catch us on our next video.